Hey everybody, Luke from Lux here, and finally we're gonna to get to build the icosahedron, which is a 20-sided polyhedra. It's made up of 90 Lux blocks, and you may be thinking, okay, this is kind of crazy, 20 sides, but if you follow this simple, methodical approach, it should be fairly straightforward. All right, let's get started. What you're gonna need in making your icosahedron are 12 of your pentagonal prisms, which means they're prisms made up of five Lux blocks, and also, 30 of your single Lux box. So the first step in making your icosahedron is simply taking your pentagonal prism and applying a Lux box to each side. So each side is covered. The next step is to take your prism and you're gonna add a prism to each of your Lux box. Okay, the next step is to start adding on the orange pieces. Now, the same method as we used in the dodecahedron applies to the making of the icosahedron in that you have to make sure each and every side of your pentagonal prism is connected to a single Box box. Once you've connected those, all you have to do is snap them together. So now we've got our foundation for the icosahedron. And now we just have to keep going with that same pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding orange pieces to each side. Last one here. Now we've added our next layer of the single blocks. Then we're going to add our prisms. So what we're gonna do is see this single one? We're gonna connect this one to this edge right here. There we go. Next side. And finally, this side over here. And if you find that it's quite a stretch, all you have to do is kind of monkey with the structure itself because Lux structures tend to be bendy and you could often mold them into shape whenever you feel as though something isn't quite right. Snap right into place like that. So now we're going to take all of our newly added pentagonal prisms and connect them together on either side. So we're going to take our orange piece here and we're going to connect this side to this side. Like that. 
same thing over here. Last, I'm gonna snap together like that. Now we've got most of our icosahedron done. As you can see, it's really starting to shape up. Now we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna take our last pentagonal prism. We're gonna connect as we did in the beginning. piece to each side. And then all we got to do is attach this guy to this guy. And voila, you have successfully completed this icosahedron, which is the last step in mastering your platonic solids. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Please stay tuned for more videos. Check out some of our other stuff we have online. And stay tuned. I'll see you next time.